Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella here and I cannot wait to take you through this full body at home workout. You are gonna come back to this workout time and time again and you are gonna fall in love with it every single time. We're gonna work your lower body, your core, your upper body, your strength, everything. And you're gonna feel so proud of yourself after you finish your workout. In today's video, all you need is a mat and your body. I've designed this workout so you can do it in the comfort of your own home, outside, wherever you feel comfortable. I know there's restrictions right now and I know a lot of gyms are shut. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure you stay moving and help your body and your mind. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and also stay tuned till the end of the video for a very special giveaway. Let's go. If you want a full warm up routine, let me know in the comments down below. I can dedicate some time to record that for you. Warming up dynamically and also stretching at the end statically is very, very important. So if you do want a full video on how you should warm up and how you should cool down, please let me know in the comments below. And that's why it was so important for me to create a dedicated section on the Tonoscope app called Mobility and Stretching because you just need to make sure you are all warmed up. So what we're gonna do is divide this workout into four sections. We're gonna focus on upper body, lower body, core, and then finish off with just a little bit of hit and just some high intensity movements. So your body is going to absolutely hate you, but love you. And you're gonna hate me, but then you're gonna love me after. So either way. So the first movement we're gonna do is a push up sit back. So a way that works is you're essentially gonna push up and you're gonna sit back. Then we repeat that again. Push up, sit back. If you can't perform a push up, you're gonna go on your knees, you're gonna push up and you're gonna sit back. Push up, sit back. You're gonna give me 12 reps. Let's go. I'm gonna keep you in a plank position, but this time we're gonna do shoulder taps. So you're gonna get your shoulders burning. Now what I don't want you to do is rotate too much and pivot using your toes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna contract your core. You want it nice and tight. <sighs> Breathe out. Scoop that coccyx bone in and come a little bit forward. You see that? You don't wanna be here. You don't wanna be here. You don't wanna do this. You wanna come slightly forward. Your shoulder, elbow, wrist, all in alignment at all times. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap, bring back, tap, bring back. I'm pushing the ground away from me. So I'm pushing it really hard to keep that stability and also really work on my shoulder engagement. You're gonna give me 30 reps. Let's go. absolutely on fire. From there, we worked shoulders, chest, and now we're gonna move over to triceps. Now the classic tricep dip. You can do it two ways. You can have your feet bent, just like so in a 90 degree angle. This will make it just a little bit more doable. If you want a challenge, you're gonna extend your legs forward and simply go down and come back up. So beginners, I want you to bend your knees, advanced, I want you to extend your legs forward. Give me 20 reps. Once you finish 20 reps, you're gonna rest for one minute. 
and then you're gonna repeat that circuit one more time. So each circuit is compromised of two rounds. You're gonna perform each exercise one after the other with absolutely little to no rest. Once you finish your three exercises, you're then gonna give yourself a one minute rest and repeat the circuit again. So that is gonna complete circuit one. The entire workout is in the description box, so don't worry if this is too fast or you've missed something. Pause the video, refer back to the description, and come back. Do it in your own time. There's no, there's no like end point. This is all about you, okay? Whew. So, one more round, and then we're gonna go into uh, lower body. Sasha always looks at me when I do these videos, like I'm so happy I'm not doing these workouts. He's like, I'm just recording. You can do the work. Moving on to circuit number two of the workout. This is gonna be your lower body circuit. Now, just because we're not using any equipment does not mean I'm gonna take it easy. We're gonna work our legs in a unilateral way, in a compound way as well, and also in a complex way. So the first exercise I want you to do is a split squat. So you're gonna grab your chair, you're gonna lift one foot up, pivot with the other, and you're gonna pulse. So you're gonna do 20 reps on one leg. Can you, can you see how I'm not coming all the way up and locking my knee out? That's very dangerous. You wanna keep the constant tension on your leg by pulsating, just like so. You're gonna give me 20 reps on each leg. From there, you're gonna give me a sumo squat. Sumo squat, your legs need to be wider than shoulder width apart, externally rotating your feet outward, core nice and tight, chest nice and proud. You can have your hands in front of you or up on your shoulders, it's completely up to you. And you're gonna come down, pulse, one, two, come back up, pulse, one, two, come back up. You're gonna burn your thighs out. And then we're doing something a little bit more complex. And that's gonna require you to come down on your mat on all fours. The complex is gonna be as follows. You're gonna do two donkey kicks with two fire hydrants. So watch again, two donkey kicks with two fire hydrants. The entire reps will be added on the screen and also in the description. Without further ado, it's unilateral split squat time. sumo whoo, squats that burn my inner thighs. So one thing I want you to remember is you're gonna pulse, pulse, abduct, abduct. That's one rep, we're doing five. Pulse, pulse, abduct, abduct. That's two, keep going. Circuit number three is all about your core. Now, I need you to remember something about core. It's really and truly all about the contraction that you get and also reaching into those really deep core muscles. So we're gonna slow it down. We're not speeding the circuit up. I wanna focus on really contracting our core. So the first movement we're gonna do is a slowed down mountain climber. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna come in, scoop, rotate, and then back. Scoop, rotate, and then back. Did you see that? So scoop, rotate, 
and then back. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do six on each side. From there, you're gonna come on to your bottom and we're doing in and outs. Let me teach you a little technique when it comes to in and outs. So this is an in and out. So you're out and you're coming in. Every time you come in, I want you to breathe out. So you're gonna go. When you breathe out, you're contracting your core. So you're gonna pivot, breathe in, breathe out, contracting your core at all times. And then from there, you're gonna do the final movement, which is gonna kill you, I'm sorry, but I know it's gonna be so worthwhile. It is, oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna stay here in this position for 30 seconds on each side. That's what you're gonna do, 30 seconds on each side. You know the side ab bit, just, no that's horrible so I'm so sorry I made you do that, but it's worth it. So the last bit is all going to be about speed and also hit. So three exercises, back to back, little to absolutely no rest. The first thing we're going to do is my all time favourite, we're going to go crisscross, tap on the floor, so you're adding also a compound by squatting down. Crisscross, tap, crisscross, tap. So that's your first hip movement. Your second is gonna be traveling skier. So you're basically gonna go travel, 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 side, 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 just like so, as fast as you possibly can. And the final movement you're gonna do is a jumping squat. So you're gonna go squat down, jump up, squat down, power up. Now I don't wanna see this, I wanna see power. You wanna shoot up, as high as you possibly can. <sighs> Sasha, pray for me. Are you ready? Let's go. So three, shit. Ah, if you've done that workout, I am so freaking proud of you. Listen, the last circuit got me feeling some type of way. I'm so out of breath. Yes. You know when you're just gathering your breath and you just feel like, when is it gonna go back to normal? That's how I literally felt straight after the final circuit. But I'm so proud of you if you did it. It's the holiday season, no one wants to work out, we all just wanna chill, we wanna binge watch our favorite TV shows, we wanna binge our favorite foods, but that's not what this is about. I want you to move your body because it makes you feel good afterwards and during. So please understand working out is not a chore, it is a necessity. And that is why the giveaway for this Vlogmas video is I'm giving away five one-year subscriptions to the Tone & Sculpt app 
so we can kickstart January strong together. And as you know as well, we are enrolling in a brand new January challenge. So that means you can enroll, be part of something so unbelievably special that thousands of women worldwide are doing, and it won't cost you a penny. You just have to join. And all you have to do for your chance to win is be following the Tona Sculpt Instagram account. Also be subscribed to my YouTube channel, of course, and comment a way that I can find you and contact you and let you know that you've won. Remember what I said, no one else should be approaching you. I will tell you who the winners are on the 25th of December on Instagram, on YouTube, everywhere. And I will personally be contacting you myself. And also give this video a thumbs up if you loved it. I'll see you next time for another Vlogmas.